Hello and welcome back to Banner Saga. Let's go back. Uh, let's get back to training. Let's get back to business. Yep, yeah, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. So basically, we need to hit them all a bit and send our berserker. Oh, okay. So position our positioning random. That that's very good to know. Which one's this? This is the one. Okay, so we can get over here and just start swinging. Now we just need to hit someone else. Can you throw any insult? Uh, wait, give me a second. Is this one? This is the one. I don't. We can get a close enough. So we'll throw insults at. <laughs> Just as I went away. Never mind. At her. Oh, but it just changes there. Well, it's kind of useless <laughs> right now. Yeah, I know you need to break armor. Chill. I need to get her here. Champion. I don't really like the chances of getting him yet. Wait, what? What was she hit from? And Valka got hit. Again. Why is she getting hit constantly? Oh, is this one? Well, that's another. Okay, well, like you have literally. Oh, we have. No, we don't have three targets. I need someone to get his armor down. Not him, <laughs> no. Getting those two messed up. You can't. You could kill those two if you tried. Yes. By pure luck, it's done. Because <laughs> we need this Renault. Really. We can't really we can't really rest. <laughs> Let's see what can be done. It's minus three strength, yeah. Wait, ah. wait, I want to promote. Continue. Very right. Sick whips himself with a fury to find nearby enemies. Okay, we don't have any choice, so yep. He is a berserker, so we'll give him more of this and that. And what does this Will, armor, will, movement, aggro, give him the five. We don't have anything better. And we move out, just like that.
Around to hear you yelling, a harsh voice reaches your ears, followed by the laughter of several others. The abrupt halt alerts Volka, who immediately signals the ravens to find out and draw their weapons. Investigate. Over the next rise, a group of ten hugged fighters and a few worlds surround a half dozen peasants and a broken wagon. Woman spots you and shout, Help us! But a punch to the stomach drop, drops, drops her to the snow with the fighters turn right to die. Charge! The man's confidence melts away, and he and all his fighters flee from the assault. They give chase for a time, but soon return to the wagon of peasants. Thank you, the woman who punched earlier said. I'm Sefa. I know you don't want us around, but if you're heading toward the Bindle, we'll follow your path. Fine, but you for this ours. Payments, f payment for saving you, you say. Oh, payments for saving you, you say. The woman nods her understanding, but you're surprised the wagon is nearly empty. We'll keep our distance, Stefa says, but we'll be behind you, you crowd and walk off. Yeah. A couple of raven scouts take off to check out the cluster of tents ahead. Refugees from Ormsdaler, one of them says upon returning. They've got a sizable camp and seem disciplined. They know we're here. The scouts have no sense in trying to avoid them. We take the lead and approach the refugees. A hooded man with a red spear greets you. My name's Buck, and this is Lofi. You will bulwark of the ravens, and is this your wife? You are confused as much by his question as by the fact that no one is with the man. Who is Lofi? He moves his spear forward a foot. Lofi, my advisor of sorts. You look at Volka and snort. You're the second spearman we've met who is more than a little touched. The man stares at Volka, a dangerous look on his face. If you're finished having your laugh, I'll tell you why I've come to you. Fine, but make it quick. I'm meeting this large group of trained fighters and tradesmen from Ormsdal, looking for a new home. We've done what it takes to survive out here, but they're starting to lose faith in me. You want us to enforce your control? No, I want you to take over. Lead us some place we can live. Love and I weren't meant for keeping all this alive. What do I get in return? For what? We will kill you. Brock smiles, but there is no human in his eyes. We'll share the food we've collected and fight alongside you should there be a need. He stops and confers, confers with his spear. Spoiling you, Love is. We will spread the word of how great the ravens are. It will take you as far as Bindle. Buck kisses the metal of his spear and smiles. You have my thanks. Oh, love and thank you as well. The unyielding snowfall is proving too much for the humans who now vainly attempt to follow your large footprints. In truth, the sky and your surroundings lack enough conscious to know where you're going, and it's cold. It's the trees over there! Volka manages to say, motioning with her spear. The foliage blocks some of the wind, but does not, nothing for visibility. With no other option, you burrow into the snow clock in your bare floor. Up you damn bear, you're being robbed! You roar, you roar and shake off the foot of snow covering you. The unclear dream still vivid in your uh, mind. Buck uses his spear, love from the point east. Those classmen you saved, they killed your guards and they're taking everything! Focus by the side in seconds, followed by the spearmen. To sprint along the snowy path of the stone supply straight into an ambush by the bandits originally harassing the classmen. Sephar uh, turns and smirks. Stealing from the ravens, you must have a death wish. Wait, I didn't start. Hmm. Oh, we can just do this. And she's dead. I'm trying to see who is with me and who. Whoa, and who's not? 
she's with Misha and she's, well, she's basically dead. Yeah. He was thinking that since he has a better spear, he'd be better for fight, uh, fighting. Eh, my bad, I guess. Good stuff. So. Him over here because we'll, we'll be back. Get over here. Oh, she's all the way over here. And she's gonna be a nuisance. That's for sure. Yes, you can do that. Yes, now. You're the archer. So I need to move you over here anyway. They need to move away. <laughs> oh, there's no way I can hit two of them, what a shame. But I can hit him twice. I'm not sure if we can make it. She is down. Wait, actually, no. I thought there was. Again, I thought there was someone next to it. Oh, he's still up! Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thing is that I can't hit two of them at once. If this wasn't the okay. okay, that's better. No, don't use it. <laughs> it. But she can do a bag, so I If not for this archer lady... <sighs> oh well. 
You ungrateful brute. I left you with half your food. I said. Because my reminder to live well enough and alone. She fires an arrow that sinks in your thigh, but your anger kills the pain as the bandits take over the supplies. Okay, yeah, yeah. at least we have no more more. But we need to rest. We rest for two days. How are we doing? Okay, yeah, only one day left. We can manage that. Do you have something here? Can you show me something? Mm. Oh, it's far getting here. Okay, so this is the... Yep, let's try it. It said that we need to... Do... To complete... Oh, sorry. Five challenges, so... Ugh. We're against Wolfie. Use Axstrom... Axstrom three hits? Well... Axum let, lets loose one flying axe after another until we deflect it. Though armor doesn't affect the chance to hit enemies with bow armor, take more strength damage. Hit the enemy three times in. Okay. Insult Bolivar, prevent Bolivar from taking a turn? Okay, so I guess. Insult him! And now a storm. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Well, you did kind of prevent him from taking him to. Does, does it mean killing him? Let's try that. Well, killing him does prevent his turn. to stay alive. Okay, please tell me you can insult me from here. Oh, does it mean that we need to keep him from a whole turn? I don't know where the turn when the turn ends. Thing. I'm pretty sure he's been prevented. Pretty much. Can you do this again? <laughs> He has so he had so much for zero power. Now. We did prevent him from taking a turn. Thank you. Neutralizing. Okay, we did. Yeah, we had that already. Yes, we had that. That's for the renown we didn't get from the flight. Okay, so let's sleep. To the window. We should make it. If nothing bad happens, we should make it. A scout points into the distance with a smile on his face. Walking that direction, you begin to hear the strangest bickering between two worlds. Now you've done it, Judd, says one of our large shield and spear. Kept it on kept on until it was hurt and came nosing around about. The older of our glasses your way, nods politely, and walks toward you while sheltering his axe. Don't mind my brother Nokke, he's a warrior. Warrior Warrior Nokke steps closer and shoves the other vowel with his shield. Jad, Varl does Varl don't have brothers and it's warrior. Tolka looks at you with amusement and confusion. None of the other ravens seem to know how to look at them. Are you too adult? Adlet? Not the nicest way to say hello, Noka says, extending his hand in greeting. 
And if we were adult, adled, that just adds stepping forward and swatting Noka's hand. Would we even know it? Noka says, well, you didn't judge, but I don't know. The spectacle continues and most of the villains are now being added absolutely. I'm not sure what you're after, but we're not sharing food. Jaku shakes his head. We're not after food, are we, Naka? Okay, says no, no. Well, yes and no. Yes and no. That's right, we'd fight with you. For you, he means. Naka, we'd fight for food, but we'd fight with this lot. You can join if you shut up. Thank you, Noka says, but just slaps a hand over his brother's mouth. Several of the mercenaries snore, trying to hold back laughing. The two fellows smile like fools and fall in line. Where's my morale? The miners of Bindal are a rough crowd. Not a bad place to recruit new blades. The old wanderer fights his way up next to you. Can't see a damn thing in this mess. Guess all earrings he hasn't forgiven you yet after all. Should you have died already? <laughs> Soon enough, I reckon. Of course this old boss will be forming any mountain. Brambles and the like screens into the distance. There's bound to be more people from Ormsdorf trying to find a new home in Bendel. Crowded town haven't always been good for us. What got you worried, old man? A bunch of ravens set loose upon a slew of scared men and women is what. Won't take much to have the guards after us if they let us in at all. He has a point, but there's little to be done about it. The idea of being around so many others in such a confined space makes you tense. You crave a long hunt and sleep in solitude. All of these people are looking for food and home. Uh, she has an annoying voice and sorry. And I'm looking for ale. Is that so much to ask for? I bet that scout already sent word for us of us being here. The snowstorm is worse than ever as you arrive at the walls of the mining town of Bindo. The gates are closed and you beat a fist against them. Open the fain gates! You shout. From the wall, two men there swoop down on you, then recede. Soon the gates open enough for a half dozen well trained guards to greet you. The one eyed captain points and says, Just you. Oka steps to her side, Not alone, she says. Get back with the others. If she's embarrassed, she doesn't show it. Though her voice sounds more harsh as she returns to the other ravens and bars orders. Inside the small gatehouse are the two men that's on the wall, a woman with a fancy spear and a cup of a man holding a staff. Valkazef, is that the raven banner? So it seems, but why here? Why now? Just passing through on our way to the Blue River, but this blast storm caught us. Plan to come back this way afterwards for more work, but now we need some food and a place to hold up. We brought some people with us, they need a new home. I'm sure it felt like the right thing to do, but we are already beyond our capacity here. Uh, are you bothered? Bothered for blow up axe? Hold your tongue, Nikas. What do you know about me, boy? I've heard all your tales. I cannot believe your cold bear cloak is real. Is it true that your axe handles are made from your own horns? The older man that placed his hand on the young man's shoulder. Are you in charge here? Where's the governor? The governor left for Arbarang a while back with most of the fighters to settle a dispute. 
The Mender Council sent me to bring the people of Bindal west, as we've heard too many rumors of dredge. More than rumors. We were in Borsgard. So, Bellaware. The Immortal Sunder! How did you escape? Immortal was a joke. He's dead. Nico's eyes go wide in awe, but Zephyr looks pensive. What about the great rift that opened between Borsgard and Ormsdal? We managed. Zephyr looks like she wants to press you for more information. Enough. Open the gates for my reference. Mercenaries, we're only panning the people. For everyone from Ormsdal, I, it's all I can do to keep them from stampeding like wild orcs. Fine, we'll come against the leeward wolves. Thank you. You have all the assistance with your shelter, Abalka and her assistant can give you. Talk to you people. It was one of your kind that sent us this direction. I'm not aware of another Valka being out this direction. Who has tasked you? Juno. Zephyr steps back at the name and studies your face for a moment. Because you and the guards see what you can do outside the walls for the people. I'll see to it and make sure the ravens are comfortable. The young man nods respectfully to Zephyr and grins at you and grinds at you before leading the guards through the gate. I invite you alone to stay with an owl and enjoy the comforts of a commander. And separate me from my ravens? No. Suit yourself, but your mistress is unnecessary. Maybe, but I shouldn't have to tell you about my job from your superior just to get an invitation. My superior? Uh, no, you misunderstood. You have no job. The Valka known as Juno is dead. So, to speak in all tongues. The once energetic man there approaches, involved foreign and troubled. I'm not sure I thank you for the time to recover. Uh, I've never woven a spell that strong before. Are you sure you're ready to move on? You look... I know! I caught my reflection earlier. It's a more mature look. The man cries, and a hint of his former youth shines through. Not everyone would have stopped for so long, especially with the ground rumbling like it has. We'll get there, no matter how long it takes. I'm glad you feel that way, but crumbling mountains and castles may not be assigned to me faster than slower. Give a smile that doesn't quite reach your eyes. Hey, well, thanks again. He walks off, glancing back at you only once. Game trail! One of the few gathered hunters says, looking at a beaten pile of grass. No telling what we might find down it, but it will find it will fill some stomach. Make a wager for who brings back the biggest kill. Everyone in the group starts smiling and tossing coins in a purse before heading down the trail when it branches to hunters sprint left and three think the center trail looks promising. Search the ground for clues. The other hunters took paths with cloven roof hoof tracks. There is a chance you could kill the largest hawk among them. The right Arabis tracks and possibly something much bigger, but it's hard to tell. Let's let's go on our own. We chose to hunt alone and move down the path quietly. Sure enough, a couple of hares pulled for cover before we can sight them. But it's not you they're afraid of. The sand hits you as a bear crashes through the brush nearby. You instinctively aim and fire, screaming a shot no one will ever believe. You showed 537 pounds of meat, but we are only able to bring 100 pounds back to the caravan. One hunter was wounded, but it will heal. The two others brought back a lot more, but you are clearly the victor. You give everyone back their coin and drinks are shared while the injured man's life is mended. Later, the entire caravan enjoys the stories of the hunt while feasting. Easy boy! A clansman shouts as a yog's cart nearly topples to one side. The damp path of the east way road has steadily turned into cracked shamble. Looking ahead, it only gets worse. 
first cousin gate by Cotton Mouse. You glance back to Awind, who looks at you and shakes his head. The entire caravan comes to a halt. We'll be eating our belts before finding a way across this broken road, especially with this many. And there's no telling how far we'll we'd have to backtrack to head north. Then we'll have we we'll head south across from Omsa Riverbed. We can head towards Grundar on on west. Tricky V pairs around Haken's elbow before coming fully into view. Heading south is uh, questionable. Those people. What do you say that? Maybe I spent a life down there, plenty of things to eat on their logs, but there's also people in the box. His eyes go wide. The skull should hear my ride! But what's wrong with heading south? Different ways of living, always stick to the mud, and fairies are less bothersome. I think he's talking about the boggers, the rough, backward people's fast walk. Trick V frowns at Ivor. What island can find you swollen and filled with poison? He puffs off his cheeks and stares at Ivor. This is why we all tend to keep to themselves. Each human is crazy in their own way. Trick V hunches over with laughter until he suddenly stops, sniffs the air, and marches away. Strange. But it's a fair warning. We're crossing over into lands most of us have never seen. Just because we left those traits behind doesn't mean we won't have more wars ahead of us. If we had more supplies, I would say we should stop for a few days and train some of these clansmen to fight. Hmm. We need to keep the few remaining clansmen moving. Ivor looks over the incredibly small caravan. He waits for Haken to walk away before saying anything. It's your responsibility to keep these people alive, you No, know? There's nothing for you to say. I think we have enough food to sustain. A metal clanking is heard in the distance and grows louder. We see a ox cart surrounded by four vow and an older woman hitting a ladle against a pan. All sorts of things for sale, she says, but her eyes go wide when she looks at you. It's you! Special is when it comes to you! Who are you? My dear sells things to those traveling, she says. It's what she does. She used to be a generous as asale. Maddie was, but that don't buy more. But that don't buy some more supply. Well, how do you know me? Words travel fast. Think you can slay some trend keep it secret? She clicks her tongue and shakes her hand. Maddie knows of you, sure enough. Okay, let's see. Of course. But make up your mind. Maddie will be gone as quick as she arrived, and don't get any idea of seeing awful things. These four of our have the keenest eyes, the sharpest place, and the shortest tempers. You feel the world watching you over your every move. We can get some spikes. Oh, that's a low price. Hmm. Oh, Plus to break. That would be great for Archer. We don't have anyone. We don't have anyone. Mm, and this one. For us to buy. No, I don't really want to buy any supplies. It would give us three days now, it's a profit. Over 20 days is mm, pretty more than that. Once you cross the Orms or Riverbed, the wind ceases to cut through the humid air. Darkening sky lets loose its rain, and soon five drops of water come to the part of the sucking mud, slowing the caravan. Clothes, cloaks are pulled overhead, and children and animals are wrangled near the carts. I was hoping to avoid visiting these parts of the kingdom for the for at least a few more years, Prince Ludwig says. At least others have had the sense to abandon the cesspool. As arrogant as he sounds, he's right. There are very few signs of life around you, yet you suffer like you've been watched. The lowing of the usual quiet yokes indicates that beasts difficulty pulling the cart. You're up to your knees in in it when a skull comes to you. Found some stone markers that led us to a few paths of solid ground over there. Points was shouting over the hill. Uneven and bumpy, but easier than this. Some markers? 
Yeah, don't look natural, don't look like much of anything else either. Just some stones making path through this place is all I can for you. You will ask to take me, but with no one could be out getting mushrooms. Lead the way. Come on, change the score slowly, but you soon see the low stone markers don't stick tight around them. The pattern picks up speed over the lumps of buggy ground until a child screams. You rush back to see the boy being pulled out of a hole in one of the mounds you crossed. Inside, you see black and wrapped bodies buried only inches beneath the bog. You are walking across the bur burial ground. The governor is talking by your side. You've led us through a whole marsh of crags, man! He shouts. You ignore the voices streaming in with the governor and focus on moving the crag and quickly away. I know. They are all around us, shouts a man near the edge of the caravan. And we're stuck in this mud! The cracksmen have encircled you. The leader step forward and shouts, There's no price but blood for crossing through the land of our dead! Shouts ring out. They are preparing to attack. Centric Vito Pali? Didn't I tell you easy is no easy? Tricky says he looks nervous. Our action we have never really seen from before. Why did they listen to me as well as you do? Forget it. We shout orders and fighters and world form up as quickly as they can. Unfortunately, the crops will move through the mood without hindrance and some lives are rolls before the army is even ready. It looks like the first train is roughly the size of our enemies. This will go either way, but a victory here will protect most of the plasma. The whole bog seems to move with the approaching cracksmen. Eric, the warden from Stan, says, I know this sounds mad, but they're bringing battle trained bearers. If you weaken one, I can make it ours. Smiles at your confusion. Ask the governor of Strand. They're helpful in certain situations. Make me gross. We could lose our lives, and he wants a new pet? Okay, but this better be worth it. You need to clear the battlefield except for one bear. Then leave the rest to me. This is crazy, but okay, sure. I guess we need, okay, we have Eric here, Ivar, and Ewit, not the ears, uh, we have Oblif, we have him, uh, I think Ewit, can we watch you? Yeah, sure we can. Uh, nope. We have Frey, explored, ooh, sure, it's gonna be good, 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 good. He is level 5. We don't have anyone at level 5. No, it's for armor, so we could give that to him. I think I'll do that. Knockback, um, good chance, I'll give this to you. We have Eric with nothing. I think I'll give him this. Don't you eat you? Of course you do. We'll give you this. We'll stay alive. Just the two bears and four archers. Can I move you? Wait, why can't I move anyone anymore? I she can shoot her. Just like this. Oh, those bear hurts. Leave the bear to me. It's all for nothing if we kill it. But we only need one bear, don't you? Yeah, and we will kill him. Oh my god. This is kind of hilarious. No, 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 I don't want to do this and attack her. Well, bears, what next? Hmm. But we need to keep only one more, I see. 
There it goes. I tried. Leave this guy alone. There's only one left, so what are you waiting for? Seriously though, what do you want? Hard to tell. Over here, sir. Injured. Flame welcomes endless war. But why? What's with the bear? Even now, the petrified flames ward off over all friends. This is where we're gonna end this part. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!